Good morning, friends. How's everyone doing this morning? Welcome to Cooking with Pam Davidson. Today, we are going to do some thick-cut bacon. And we are going to do it in the oven. Everyone keeps telling me, do it in the oven, do it in the oven. So that's what we're going to do today. So I got a baking stone here, and this is from Pampered Chef. I've had it probably 25, 30 years. I would cover it with parchment paper, but I don't have any today. So I know cleanup will not be as easy, but that's okay. We're going to take these bacon strips. Now these are some long ones, and they're thick. So I'm going to see how many is going to fit on this sheet here. I got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. I might could, I might could do them this way. Just kind of scrunch them up a little bit. Maybe they'll shrivel up some. Because I want to get as many as I can on this pan. I normally like to cook the whole pack at a time. And then we'll just use the rest for leftovers. And believe me, bacon don't last long around here. So we love bacon and this uh, this thick cut really makes for good sandwiches and everything. And I don't think this is all going to fit on here. So we're just going to, I might have to get a second pan here or either lay it on top. Y'all think I could lay it on top and it'll cook and then as it shrivels up, what do you think? Think I can lay something like that? We'll try it. I think I only got like three three extra pieces here. We'll try it like this and maybe I can move it around as it shrinks up. How's that? All right, now I preheat my oven to 400 because I want to get this cooked quick and crunchy. All right, let me wash my hands up here and I'm going to get right back to you. All right, yeah, I'll bring you over here where you can see it. It cooked for 20 minutes at 400 degrees. It's looking pretty good so far. But I'm going to turn it over because now this is thick bacon. So that's why it's taking so long. And those ones on top look like it did pretty good. So we're just going to turn them all over now and get these ones off of the top. Squeeze them in a little bit. cook it on this side a little bit longer because I like mine a little bit more crunchy than what this is. All right, so I'm going to flip them all and then come back to you. All right, y'all, I cooked it about five more minutes and look what nice strips of bacon I got. I'm just going to put them over here on this paper towel to drain. Y'all can see that. I'm going to pull them off of here, nice long strips, get them out of this grease here. And there you have it. Of course, I ain't done the taste test yet, but I've tasted bacon in the oven before. And to me, I thought it had a better taste when it's in the oven. I'll get those off in a minute. Let me tear a piece off here so it can cool off a minute. Put the camera back up here. Here we go. We got us a bunch of bacon. It's hot. But yeah, it tastes good. I, I think bacon in the oven has a better taste. Hmm. I normally fry it on top of the stove. I don't know why, I guess it's just habit. But baking like this, I was able to do the whole pack. And I think it took about 25 minutes altogether because this is really thick sliced bacon. And y'all know I tried that method. Some, the only reason I did that bacon in water was because somebody told me, oh, you cook everything else in water, cook your bacon in water, it's good. But y'all, that did not work. It did not, it did not speed up the process of the bacon getting done. It just, the bacon was still raw as all get out. 
when uh, the water evaporated and then then I was able to fry it like normal so I wouldn't recommend that bacon in the water thing at all okay y'all um, I'm gonna get off here now and fry us up some eggs and we're gonna have some breakfast all right I'll talk to y'all soon. Please share my videos. Thank you so much for being so kind to me. Bye-bye.